shaders in Minecraft 1.19.1 without optifying. That's what Iris Shaders is. It allows you to get shaders in Minecraft using the fabric mod loader, sodium, and this mod right here, Iris Shaders, to get shaders without using optifying at all. What's even cooler is a lot of times you can actually get higher FPS with Iris Shaders and Sodium, which is what we're going to be installing in this video, than you can with Optifine Shaders. So it's worth a shot if FPS is your goal. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this. The first thing you want to do is download Iris Shaders. That's going to be at the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is the complete text guide on getting 119 Iris Shaders. However, we're going to be going through everything in this video as well. But you're going to click on the Download Iris Shaders button to be taken to the official Iris Shaders download page. On this page, go ahead and click on this big blue download universal jar. Right away, it'll download in the bottom left of Google Chrome. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Chrome or save it in the server screen if you're on Firefox. Now, there's one more thing we've got to download, and that is the Shaders Pack. Basically, Shaders Packs are what actually adds in the shader texture to Minecraft. There are tons of these out there, and in this article here, I believe we have 12 or so of them. It's a great list, and it's linked, of course, in the description down below, the third link down below. And it has pictures of all these Shaders Packs. You can look at them in depth, all of that stuff. However, once you're here for this video, we're going to download BSL Shaders. Click on the green download button there. Then we also want to go ahead and get Makeup Ultra Fast Shader. Click on the green download button there. And then last but not least, we're going to get the Vanilla Plus shaders here because that's very high FPS. And that's something that I look for is high FPS shaders and Vanilla Plus is that. So nevertheless, Vanilla Plus here, this is on Curse Forge. Come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the 1.18 section. Yes, the 118 version is still up to date and working in 119. So go ahead and click on the orange download button there and the download begin after a few seconds. After that is done downloading, it will download on the bottom left. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. Moving on from there, let's look at the BSL Shaders pack. Here we want to click BSL Shaders and then click Download. Then scroll down and click the yellow Download BSL button here. The download will then begin after a few seconds. While it's downloading, they'll have it in our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Host. You go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love to host Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And over at Apex, you'll find 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support, as well as over 200 mod packs with one-click installation. So go to Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz to start your very own server. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders, the last pack we're installing. You can install as many of these as you want and easily switch between them all in game. But nevertheless, on the right hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section and then click on the orange download button here. After a few seconds, the download will begin and we'll be done. We will have downloaded all three of our shaders packs. Boom, there we go. We have Makeup Ultra Fast, BSL, Fennel Plus, and of course, Iris itself, which is the mod that makes all this work. Minimize our browser, and we want to go ahead and move these to our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this does work on Windows 11. Then type in Downloads here. You have this Downloads file folder, and in here you'll find all of your shaders packs you want to install, as well as Iris. We move these to our desktop, just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once we've got these here, we're going to be starting off with the Iris installer here. Now, if your icon here is different, don't worry. Let's try to open it up first. Right-click on Iris installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, or if your icons are weird here, what we want to do is go ahead and download Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Iris Shaders. So guess what? We need Java 17 if you can't open up Iris Shaders there. Luckily, in the description down below, you'll find this complete guide on how to download and install Java 17. It goes over everything you need to know. Once you've got this, though, you still may need to run the jar fix. And what the jar fix is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So finally, we can minimize our browser, right-click on the Iris installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open the Iris installer here, where we want to make sure Iris and Sodium is selected and 1.19.1 is selected. Click install and the installation will begin. The only reason this won't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.1 before in vanilla Minecraft. If that's the case, just go play it with no mods or anything installed, come back and this will work. But as you can see, installation has succeeded. We can now go ahead and close out of this and delete Iris in from our desktop. It's time to get our shaders packs installed. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we actually want to click on installations right up here at the top. Now you should have this Iris and Sodium installation. If you don't, go ahead and make sure Mata just checks. You can see, uncheck that, disappears, check that, there it is. If this still isn't here, Iris and Sodium for 1.19.1, you can go ahead and click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this Iris Shaders. And then we can click this version drop-down box. In here, you want to find Release Iris, Fabric, 
119.1. It's very important it says 119.1 at the end, and it does here on Iris. So we're good to click on that. Then I'm going to change the resolution. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game, and finally click and create. Now we have both the one we created and Iris and Sodium. You'll notice the version numbers under them are all exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter which one we click on. But what we want to do is hover over these and click on the little folder icon. So again, hover over these, click on this little folder icon here. This is going to open up our dot .minecraft folder, where you should have a shader packs folder. But Nick, I don't have a shader packs folder. Well, guess what? I don't either. So let's go ahead and create one. So right click, new folder, and we want to name this shader packs. Exactly like that. Shader packs. If it's not exactly down to the character like that, lowercase and everything, this will not work. So it is imperative that if you don't have a shader packs folder, that you add in this shader packs folder exactly like this. Nevertheless, go ahead and open up that shader packs folder and now drag and drop all the shader packs you downloaded into this folder. When you do, they will be installed just like that, quick and easy. Now we can jump back into the Minecraft launcher here and play Minecraft, either with the Iris and Sodium profile that's already there or the one we created. It does not matter which one, but just go ahead and click play. Click play to confirm you're playing a mod in Minecraft. And now the Minecraft 1.19 is going to open up. I said the Minecraft, because Minecraft 1.19.1 is going to open up with shaders installed. Let me show you. So here we are in Minecraft. We can click on options and then we can click on video settings. And there's a lot more here than just shaders packs. That is the sodium part of sodium iris shaders, right? So sodium adds in so much more that you can do as far as, you know, different performance enhancements and things. For now though, let's just focus on shaders packs. When we click on that, we can see here are all of our different shaders. We have BSL, we have Makeup Ultra Fast, and we have Vanilla Plus. They're all here. Start off, let's click on BSL shaders. When you click on it, click Apply at the bottom, and then boom, it turns yellow, indicating it's active. We can click Done, click Done again, and then go play our world here to show you that shaders is in fact enabled. It is also worth mentioning that some shaders packs will have issues with Irish shaders. Keep that in mind. If shaders pack doesn't work, just try a different one, right? Just because one doesn't work doesn't mean they all won't work. And as you can see, BSL shaders looks absolutely beautiful and works perfectly. I love how bright this shaders pack is. From there, let's go ahead and go into options, video settings. And right here in game, we can switch. So we can go to shaders packs and then we can switch over to vanilla plus. Click apply and you'll see this automatically apply in the background. This one doesn't look anywhere near as good as BSL shaders, but it does add in things like, you know, flowing grass and stuff, which is needed in a way in order for you to get higher FPS in shaders while still getting a shaders feel. I believe it uh, adds in flowing grass. Doesn't seem like it does. Maybe Vanilla Plus is a bit broken these days with Iris shaders, but no worries there. We can now check out the last but not least here, which is Makeup Ultra Fast. Click apply and wait for it. There we go. And there we go, Makeup Ultra Fast is installed. You can see the grass flowing. You can see the water glistening, looking good. So there you have it. That is how you can add different shaders packs to Minecraft 1.19.1 using Iris shaders. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Iris shaders is the best way to get shaders in Minecraft without Optifine. That's the biggest thing. This is fabric shaders without Optifine using Sodium and Iris. It's really, really cool. And one of the best ways to get shaders if you don't want Optifine. If you don't want Optifine, just wait. Optifine will eventually update, adding in shaders, and we recommend subscribing to the channel should you want Optifine shaders in the future, because as soon as they come out, we'll do a video on it. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.